Hi guys, nice sunny morning. Another charity shop gold or garbage video. I bought this a few days ago, but I haven't had time to do the video yet. So we'll do it now. I think you can guess how much this one cost me. 50 pence. That was in Cancer Research in Fish Ponds, Bristol. And it's another one of those shake and go cars. I wasn't going to buy any more of these. Bought this one a while back. It took me a while to work out what it was, but I worked out in the end. And most of the shops seem to be selling them for about £1.50 each. So when I saw this one at 50p, I thought, yeah, all right, we'll buy another one. And when I picked it up, it worked straight away. Um, So, I was quite pleased with it. So it's obviously got good batteries in it, I don't need to change them. But in response to a request from Will Hobbs, I will actually take it apart and show you where the shake sensor is. It's a tilt switch inside, so that when you move it, it knows that you're shaking it. And I assume it's got some sort of counter in there as well, so that if you shake it a lot, it builds up the um, length of time that it'll run for. So you give it a short shake. It goes a fairly short distance and it does that breaking noise at the end of it, whereas if you shake it a lot, it'll go the full length of my kitchen. So, we'll take it apart and have a look for the tilt switch. Oops. Those springs are the, well, I'll call it suspension, on the front here. Because there's a little switch just there that detects when the steering is up or down, or the front wheels are up or down. It can check when you're on the ground. And the same at the back, there's a button there, so it only runs when you've got it on the ground. Alright, I think it's refocused. So here's the control board. That's the micro switch that detects that the front wheels are touching the ground. Just there there's another micro switch which is the one underneath. Just here is the on off switch. And just here is the tilt switch. Right, I think we're in focus. So I'll just short across the contacts on this tilt switch. And it won't actually start moving unless I push that switch in at the front. Because that's how it knows whether it's on the ground or not. way it's sitting at the moment, this little ratchet effect has gone past the switch. I need to push it. So within this circuitry here, there must be a counter to count how many times the tilt switch is shaken, and also some sort of time delay to decide how long it wants the wheels to spin for. And there's a couple of sound effects in there, so we've got the engine revving, the brake, uh, the tyres squealing. So, there's a lot gone into this little car. I like them a lot. So, quick review. I'll use my pointy finger. 
main circuit board. That's the tilt switch, just there. I've got a video of a toy I made using tilt switches, so I'll put a link to that in the video description. At the front we've got a micro switch there that's operated by this bar that's connected to the front wheels, so that's operated when the car goes down on the ground, it pushes that switch in. Down there's the on-off switch. Under there is another switch. Where is it? Yeah. Doesn't point in the right place, just under there. Which is which is that switch. That also detects whether the car's on the ground or not. And then at the back we've got the electric motor and the gearbox. And then up in the top of the car, we've got the speaker. Now, in this one, we've got an LED there, which I don't know what the function is, because there isn't one on this car. So maybe that's an extra facility that one had that this one doesn't have. Very quickly, the layout of this car was slightly different. That's where the tilt switch is, just there. Right, that's it. Just a final point. I can see this yellow one is 2007. Whereas the red one is 2005. Well that test run, the red one had more wheel spin and shot off to one side. The yellow one went in a nice straight line. It's got bigger rubber tyres, or more rubber on the tyres. So better grip went in a straight line.